let's move on now to the final topic today. And the final topic today comes to us from our friend Derek Tran, who writes, I feel like we're all starting to forget about Guardians of the Galaxy 3 ever since James Gunn joined up with Warner Brothers to make Suicide Squad. But I just saw an article where James's brother, Sean, was saying that the movie is still happening. So I guess I have two questions. One, do you guys think that Guardians 3 is actually happening? And two, if so, when are we going to start hearing something about it? All right. For those of you who don't know what Derek is talking about, last night Sean Gunn was also at the uh, uh, premiere of Captain Marvel. He was actually sitting across the aisle from us. and We were in here and he was in the next aisle over. And uh, he was full decked out. It was a really cool outfit. Anyway, for those who don't know, Sean Gunn plays Kraglin in Guardians of the Galaxy, and while Bradley Cooper does the voice of Rocket Raccoon, the actual guy on set doing the motion capture for Rocket and referencing is Sean Gunn. He does it. Anyway, and he's James Gunn's brother. So he was being interviewed on the red carpet last night about Guardians 3, and this is what Variety, who spoke with him, basically wrote about that. They said, Sean Gunn, brother to Guardians of the Galaxy director James Gunn, confirmed at Monday's Captain Marvel premiere that the third movie is a go. I don't know exactly how that's all going to work, but we are going to make the third movie. I'm excited to make it. I think it's a disservice to the fans if we didn't make it. And I know the people who worked on the Guardians movies are really a family. And we're going to come together and make the best movie we can, regardless of who's in charge. Rob, you hear these comments coming from a guy like like Sean Gunn. Number one, let's go back to the original questions. Is this movie even ever going to happen? When is this thing going to happen? And do you think Sean Gunn saying this might be an indicator that behind the scenes, James Gunn is like, hey, everybody, it's cool. Like, it's all good. Let's just all play above board and be good. I mean, what happened happened. Or uh, how do you see this whole thing? Well, first of all, I think, of course, we're going to get a Guardians of the Galaxy 3 because, one, everyone loves the Guardians of the Galaxy. They mm -hmm. also played a big role in Infinity War, and I would expect we'll see them again in Endgame. Um, they, those movies collectively, once again, made $1.5 billion, and who knows how much they made in ancillary money. I mean, there's a ride at Disneyland with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Very yeah. good ride, by, uh, actually. They replaced and, the Hollywood Drop of Terror or Tower of Terror or whatever it yeah, was. Yeah, the Twilight Zone Tower of Terror. Um, it's, and and I, I think that, you know, Sean Gunn obviously is an integral part of, of not just because he's James Gunn's brother, but because he's a character in the film. You know, he's he's one of, one of, uh, one of the people that we... Well, he's a great secondary character. And because he does perform Rocket, he's part of that family. And I, you know, I think he would know they're going to use the James Gunn script. I'm sure James Gunn still gets a producing credit, and I'm sure they want the movie to get made. I wouldn't be surprised if we find out that it's one of the first movies out of the gate in Marvel Phase 4, at least one of the first three, because they already have the script. They've probably already been deep into pre-production on it. They just haven't decided quite how they're going to handle it yet. That's why I think Kevin Feige, you know, you talked about how there was that big event a couple of years back when Marvel announced their massive slate of films. I think they're going to do the same thing after Spider-Man Far From Home. I think they're going to have another event, and with much hoopla, they're going to announce what they plan to do with the Fox Marvel characters and what they plan to do for the next three or four years. And I'm sure Guardians is going to be at the forefront of that announcement. So, yeah, I think it's going to happen. One of the things that I find interesting about Sean Gunn is uh, Sean Gunn's comments is that it brings up a topic we've been talking about before. Who are they going to get to direct this thing? Because they've there's a director problem here, because mm -hmm. you've got Marvel directors like uh, Scott Derrickson, like Taika Waititi, who have directly said, "Oh no no no, that's James's thing, and we're not going to touch that." So. It kind of raised like if if hardcore onboard Marvel directors even saying no, we're not. That's James's movie. We're not touching it. If even they're doing that, are is Marvel going to have a hard time? We've talked about this. Finding the director they want to get on board, who's not going to be afraid. So hearing Sean's comments, it makes me wonder. And again, this is pure speculation on my part. Pure speculation. But it makes me wonder if James Gunn isn't doing a little bit of fence re repairing fences building bridges or whatever and telling sean hey listen dude it's cool james might be saying to sean hey i'm still going to make a lot of money from guardians of the galaxy 3 it's my legacy 
go ahead, go ahead and make it. And I wonder if he might be, if those conversations are happening with his brother, who he's very close with, I start to wonder if these conversations might also be happening between James and Dave Batista. Because remember, Dave, Dave Batista has been at the forefront of the, the most critical voices of Disney over the way they handled the James Gunn situation. Yeah. Straight up, straight up daring Disney to fire him, begging Disney to fire him and let him out of his contract. I wonder if Sean is saying stuff like this now, and we haven't heard anything from Dave Batista about this in a while. Maybe James has gotten in Dave Batista's ear. Maybe James will talk to some directors and say, hey, guys, listen, if you want to direct Guardians 3, I'm totally cool with it. Who knows? Maybe I'm just speculating way too much. But if the guy closest to James is coming out and say, hey, it's all, it's all cool. We're going to get this movie made. Then maybe James is doing some of the stuff behind the scenes. Because you, you raise, raise a great point. He is the writer of the script. He's going to be a producer of credit on this thing. Everybody knows, no matter who directs the third part, that Guardians of the Galaxy is James Gunn's. Everybody knows that. So I just can't help but wonder if maybe this is a sign that the waters are going to start to calm around this whole storm we've had. Well, I, I, I think absolutely. I mean, do you think Marvel wanted James Gunn fired? You know, yeah. I, I mean, yeah. it, it's so interesting that, that James Gunn was fired for, for doing what James Gunn had. The guy worked for Troma. You know, yeah. and and if you read his novel, The Toy Collector, or you know anything about his dark sense of humor, James Gunn wasn't, he didn't do anything wrong. He he made some really off-color remarks with very blackly sardonic humor. And I, I mean, it was ridiculous. I think it was, it was a knee-jerk reaction from up on high. I bet Kevin Feige wasn't pleased about it at all because James has probably proven to be one of the most delightful people in the world to work with and certainly became, you know, what John Favreau was to the beginning of the Marvel cinematic universe, James Gunn sort of became to, you know, the middle or, or this part of the, mm. of the Marvel cinematic universe. I mean, he had a hand in infinity war. He had a hand in, in two movies, one of the, the two of the most successful movies other than their team up films. And it, it was, it was a shame what happened to him. It should never have happened. Well, and it was I, a bad call. I've been very critical of Alan Horn. I mean, Al, look, Alan Horn's a genius. He's one of the best executives movie business ever done, and he's made Disney a lot of money. But I've been very critical of Alan Horn and how he handled that. I think he he had a very quick knee-jerk reaction. I think he acted ill-advised. I didn't think he took the time to consider what was happening, and then he painted himself and Disney into a corner. And he alienated his filmmakers. He alienated the Guardians of the Galaxy cast, who all came out publicly to say, we want James Gunn back. I mean, that's how bad. I was, I was actually at the premiere last night, kind of looking over my shoulder to make sure Alan Horn didn't come up from behind me with a metal chair or something like that. <laughs> but because, I, because I, I've been very critical of him and I think he deserves it. But who knows? Maybe this is a sign that the waters are starting to come.